Hi boys and girls! For the social studies video today, I'm going to be talking about transportation and entertainment from long ago. I'm going to teach you to explain how people got from place to place long ago and how kids played long ago. This is Kayla. She is going to visit her grandparents. How do you think she will get there? What if Kayla lived long ago? How do you think she would get there then? I think you can tell by the picture that Kayla's going to take her car to get to her grandparents' house. Maybe they're going to the beach. But let's think about if Kayla lived a long time ago, how would she get there then? These are pictures of some things that people use to get to places nowadays. Of course, if you're traveling far, you might take a train or maybe even a boat or an airplane. But in your day-to-day -day travel, you would probably take one of these. Cars were invented over 100 years ago. They were pretty expensive, so not a lot of people had them at first. They did not look like the cars today. They did not work like the cars today. What you are seeing right here is a replica of the first car ever made. That means it's not the exact first car, but they recreated the first car with modern materials. Listen to that sound. Wow. These two people are going to go for a test ride. And this is our gas and our brake. Okay. You're moving us into gear? Yeah. Whoa. This does feel fast. Oh, it even goes. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> the top speed of this vehicle was 16 kilometers per hour. That's about 10 miles an hour. We can go fast. It feels faster than I was expecting. I don't know if you caught that, but the man said the car goes about 10 miles an hour. That's about as fast as a bicycle. So it's not really that fast. If you had a car back then and used it to drive to another town, it would still take you a very long time because it went so slow. And while you were riding in your car, it would be bumpy the whole way because roads were made of dirt or stone. Traveling by horse was still faster than the first cars. Before cars, people used horses and carriages. People have used horses for thousands and thousands of years to travel. They still use horses for traveling today. These kids are having fun. What are they doing for fun? What if they lived long ago? Do you think they would do the same things for fun? What kinds of things do you do now for fun? What kinds of things do you think that kids did hundreds of years ago? Let's think about the present. Nowadays, kids use a lot of technology. You might play video games, watch TV, search through Netflix, play on a phone or watch YouTube. You use batteries and chargers and cords. I know right now you wake up and have school through a computer. That's pretty amazing. But before all of this technology, what did kids used to play with? Dolls have been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. But back then, dolls were made out of things like sticks and fabric instead of plastic. Kids have been playing with sticks and rocks outside since probably the beginning of time. Eventually, toys were made so kids could build with something besides sticks and rocks and leaves. Kids pretty much never stopped moving, so it was kind of nice to start getting toys made for kids to help them move in the right ways. The first toys were pretty simple, things like putting a ball into a cup or yo-yos. I wonder if you've ever used a toy like this before. So now, after watching this video, I wonder if you are able to explain how kids used to play and have fun long ago. Are you also able to explain how people got from place to place? I hope so. Thanks for learning with me. Bye!